Provost's Award for Excellence honor our faculty members' outstanding contributions to the university, their discipline, and their students. These professors represent the very best of Cal Poly Pomona's teacher-scholar model. I'd like to recognize our 2014-15 honorees. Dr. Jenny Switkus for excellence in teaching. Dr. Winnie Dong for excellence in service. And Dr. Rick Wilson for excellence in scholarship and creative activities. I think there are different components of excellent teaching. Of course, one component is being technically strong, but then there's the even more important aspect of connecting with the students and mentoring them and helping them to grow as individuals and to learn what they would like to pursue after college and then to help them achieve those goals. Dr. Swickies is so unique. I've never had a professor like her. She's the most kind, passionate person you'll probably ever meet. Her positivity in general has um, been something that definitely stands out. She's uh, always smiling, always pleasant, always happy, always willing to give you a minute here, a minute there. She has this lion heart. She's just always giving. And in the classroom, she makes it apparent. She wants every student to learn to the best of their abilities. Um, if they fall behind, she opens up office hours for the individual student. She makes sure every student has the chance to succeed in her class. And she'll do anything she can to make sure that happens. For some college students, college can be sort of a nameless experience where they feel like no one knows them. And I think just knowing that your professor knows you and knows your situation, I think that makes a huge difference. And she makes sure that if you're willing to learn, you're going to learn in that class. It's, it's this contagious thing that Dr. Switkies has. It's like, oh, she's trying really hard and she cares this much about us. I should probably care about learning too. Probably has the most students that I can, I can think of who before a course would be like, I don't really know what this course is about. And after the course, they're thinking, I want to do this. Sort of a theme for me is that I love helping people that others may have given up on to, to actually see that what they're capable of doing and then to get to watch themselves succeed in these things they may never have thought that they would do. The things that she does are almost endless. She's always looking at ways that she can devote herself to others. and. It really does make you want to change. When you see an example like that, you can't help but strive to be like that. Being involved in Poly Presents, in the McNair Scholars Program, and also in the Office of Undergraduate Research has uh, given me the opportunity to provide resources and, um, to students and to help faculty members in serving their students. The Dr. Dong goes above and beyond. Um, just to say the least, we got the Achieve Scholars Grant because of the work that Dr. Dong is doing. She has achieved, accomplished a lot. If you look at her record in terms of bringing funding, bringing uh, other resources to the school, she has achieved tremendously. And she was able to do that because of networking properly with people. I think service in the context of a university is to improve the educational experience and the educational opportunities that our students have. Every interaction that you have with her as a student um, is, impact, is impactful on you as a person, as a student, and then it, she allows you to better yourself. I have seen many working with students, my students, her students, as well as teachers. And one other thing I admire about her is when she helps you, she doesn't come to the foreground. She's kind of in the back and giving you a little push to go forward and do whatever you want to do. Mentorship is really being in the back, there for you, supporting you, but helping you to go forward. I didn't even think of it as service, really. I was just saying, saying like, what do the students need to be successful and how can I help? And then eventually, you know, it's like, oh, that's service, okay. <laughs> so I think her legacy is, is, is helping others, uh, pushing others to do the best that they can. Well, research is something you just naturally do if you're curious and intellectual. So it's just a natural part of living a life as a professor and a teacher. He really embodies that, uh, that Cal Poly ethos of, uh, of do and teach uh, and learn by doing. Um, and he brings that perspective in spades. 
I would say he's a perfect example of a teacher-scholar because of the balance that he achieves between what he researches, what he writes about, what he paints about, and what he teaches to students. Dr. Wilson really, what he brings to the, the transportation discipline and to parking is, he was, one, he was among the leaders on, on developing research around um, um, parking policy. What we do with parking affects the design of cities, how they're used, the built form we see all around us has been profoundly affected by the parking policies that cities have adopted. And his work is a, a, a clear contribution to the daily practice, yet it's based upon the best of intellectual traditions and, and deep research. He is a modern day Renaissance man, um, and that endows him with an ability to look at, at issues from a more holistic perspective. There are very few people in my world who are uh, as multifaceted as he is, who, who have um, genuinely, intellectually explored his subject matter from so many different perspectives using so many different media. Um, so his perspective on planning as a discipline for me has been amazingly helpful. It's been a mentoring relationship um, as I start to embark on my own career and my nervousness about that, he's really been a supporting character. And the mentoring part is, for me, has become one of the sweetest parts of my job. I enjoy it immensely, helping people be successful in their careers and then become mentors themselves. Oh, I think, uh, like many great teachers, his legacy will be his students and the accomplishments that we will see from the people that he trained. Mm -hmm.